hello guys welcome back again to my youtube channel to girl uj so i'm here again with another thing my ghana people aquaba aquaba me that say most people come back to their uh, country because they want to have the peace they want to feel at home they want to feel among they want to feel that love among their people not because they come home because they are broke or because they had one issue or the other so I'm trying to uh, uh, remove the impression that people think that whenever you live abroad and come back home that it's either you went broke or you cannot cope in that particular country. No, most people don't really live abroad and come back to their home country because they are broke or because they cannot cope or because they cannot adapt. They just want to feel among and stay with, as and stay with their people. Like for instance, there was a story someone told me one time ago that the man stayed abroad for so many years you know got married took the wife abroad and after giving birth the, the children went to school primary secondary and uh, the university there so one day it was getting old and the man's children gave birth there so and the worst part is that these children doesn't know their roots they don't know their roots. They've become so matured that they don't know where they come from. They started to behave like those people. They are staying in their country. They don't know their roots. They don't know their village. They don't know where they come from. They just know that they are Nigerians or they are Ghanaians. So most parents tend to forget that life doesn't just ends by you carrying your children abroad and they stay in there and you don't want them to know anything about their country that if they come back to their country something is going to happen to them forgetting that the route where they come from it is more important you know like we nigerians we have cultures that govern us likewise Ghanaians, they have cultures like giving birth to a child outside your country and that child in particular doesn't know their culture doesn't know her is or her roots or things like things to do i've seen some cases whereby cousins get married to cousins without they knowing themselves because they don't know their roots they don't know their cousins they don't know their uncles they don't know their pater maternal uh, aunties so they decide to like maybe they meet in a place and they fall in love and they get married which is an abomination in african culture so you training your kids or you deciding to live a particular country and come back to your home country it's not a big deal you know it's not something people should start or you should start feeling ashamed of that ah i'm back to my home country now how what what would people think of me what would they say no 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 so i have a Ghanaian friend one time um she was telling me that um the mother is a Ghanaian, while the dad is a nigerian that's never been to Ga to nigeria for a day he doesn't even know his way to nigeria and so his father is dead the man died and they buried him in ghana have you seen it a missing identity he doesn't know his roots it he, he cannot locate his family member he cannot locate his father's family uh, members he cannot even locate any of anybody from his father's side so it was like it was weighing him down he was so worried because i mean nigerian he came to meet me he said ah please let uh, me please uh, uh i want to talk to you i said what is your problem he was like i'm a nigerian my mother is a Ghanaian and my father is a nigerian that he don't he wants to go to nigeria he wants to know his people like i said okay you want to know your people you want to know your dad's relatives you know meet them okay do you know what is your father's son name where does it come from in nigeria you know, in Nigeria, they have many states, like, they have 36 states. So, which one of them is he from? Is he an Igbo or Yoruba or an Aosa man? He said he's an Igbo man, but he doesn't know the place he came from. He doesn't know if he's from Enugu, Imo, Abia. He doesn't know. He was like, he's confused. He just wants to take him to Nigeria. He said, okay, if I should take you to Nigeria now, where do you locate your father's relative? Where do you locate your father's relative? He said he's just confused because he's a male child. You know, he just needs to know 
his people. He wants to go back to his father's house and no. So as a parent, always try to bring your children back home for them to know their roots, for them to know where they come from, you know. Don't let your children, maybe when you get old and die, don't let them curse you and say, I regret ever being the child of this person. As a Ghanaian, bring your children home to know their roots. As a Nigerian, bring your children home to know where they come from. Tell them where they come from. Or if you're a Nigerian married to a Ghanaian, let your children know where they come from. Or a Ghanaian married to a Nigeria, let your children know where they come from. You know, it is very, very important for them. Not for you, but for the sake of your children. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share my video. I've come to the end of this video. Hopefully, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.